We are post game of West Liberty versus Charleston. Uh, Coach, how about you start us off with a few thoughts about tonight's game? Yeah, I mean, I think you have to credit Charleston in a lot of it because obviously it's a deadlock game at, at the half. We both come out knowing what's in front of us. Um, and I thought we worked really, really hard in some plays and then don't reap the benefit of them, especially on the defensive end, because just something goes wrong with our finish. So like we're blowing up their sets, we're working our butts off communication-wise, our rotations looked really, really good at times today, but then all of a sudden someone sneaks behind us or someone goes and gets an O-board or unfortunately they get downhill and we bail them out. And it's just when those things start to stack, it makes it really, really hard um, for the other side. Now you gotta go play offense mm -hmm. with them set on defense and you know they're, they're a good defensive basketball team and you got to be pretty lights out and and we put ourselves in a position where we had to be that way uh there's been some games where you've maybe come on stronger at the finish of the game compared to at the beginning tonight or today you start off opening up the game with the 10-0 scoring run uh talk about uh how big it, how big of an importance was that at least getting off to that big of a start I mean, I think it, it was huge for us. You know, you're talking about we set a tone like we talked about, like we're prepared for for the last two days. And then to watch it go be executed, like, that fires me up. Like, mm -hmm. as a coaching staff, as a bench, players in the game, everyone's fired up at that point because you're getting stops. And now you're earning the right to go play offense. And now they're not in any kind of pressure. They're now scrambling in transition with our pace. Everything is going and we're getting in a flow. And then there were just moments as the game progressed where, you know, not able to get those stops. Um, and, and again, there were times where I just think Charleston goes and, and make a couple plays down the stretch of a possession that unfortunately we didn't earn the right to get the stop there. Uh, Carly, uh, three threes in today's game, uh, five assists as well. Kind of talk about uh, kind of just being able to move the ball around, how finding your open shot always as usual, how you're able to do that against Charleston's defense. Well, we said we just had to keep the ball moving. I think we did a good job with that. So when I was open, I just shot it. And other than that, I just tried to make plays and open up my other teammates. Uh, final question for either one of you. Charleston, a team that kind of likes to slow down the pace at times, only averaging about 60, 65, 68 points a game. Uh, do you think that maybe played a bit of a role in today's game compared to maybe you want to play more faster style of pace? Um, I think the only time it came into play is, is once they get that three or four possession lead in the fourth. Because mm -hmm. now they're bleeding clock. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty disciplined about doing so. And you just, again, it puts a stranglehold on the game. You know, it's, it's kind of like in a football game when people just start grinding it out and running the ball every play. And all you're thinking about is how do we get the ball back? How do we get the ball back? Mm -hmm. Well, defense becomes harder. Um, and, uh, and I just think that was the case. But, you know, it's, it's for us, it's, you know, and, and Carr and I just talked about it before this, it's collectively doing it all. And, and that is really hard. Winning is really hard. We're just hitting these moments in games where, like, we are right there, and we just got to find a way to stack all the concepts um, and, and not be perfect, but, but be good. All right. Thank you.